Welcome back everybody to the Dev Marketer channel. This is the channel where we help you build and grow your next great idea. Now, in this video, we're gonna be working on continuing our WYSIWYG editor, which is what we started in the last video. We got it all up and running on our, when we create a brand new blog post, we now have a WYSIWYG editor where we can add and bullet, we can add bullet points, we can uh, format our text and all that cool stuff, all right? And we got it saving into the database now. So everything seems really, really cool. But now when we look at what the users see on the front end of our website, they're seeing stuff like this, right? They're seeing these actual H1 tags are getting displayed the paragraph tags and all that kind of stuff. So how do we get this to actually format the way we wanted it to when we did it in the text editor? That's what we're gonna focus on in this video is how to display that correctly to the user. The other thing we're gonna talk about in this video is how to strip out the tags completely so that if you do just wanna render the plain text without any of the formatting, how you could do that as well. Both of these techniques are really simple. This is gonna be a quicker video than most of mine. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this topic real quick. And um, actually, before we do the rendering portion, I have to take a step back. I forgot to add the tiny MCE editor in the last video. I forgot to add it to the edit page. We added it to our bl new blog page when we create a new blog post, but we forgot to add it when we edit a blog post. So let's go ahead and add that. It's really easy to do. It only can take a minute, I promise. Okay, so let's dive into it. So if we go over to our Sublime, um, I've got the project open, obviously. And um, I'm gonna head over to our resources, views, posts, and create. And then this is the one we did in the last video where we actually had the um, we had the editor, okay? So this is basically all the code it took to add the MCE, at tiny MCE editor. You can see this line up here adds, um, grabs the JavaScript from the CDN. And then these lines right here, these little five lines, six lines here, um, actually initialize it with a few settings, okay? So what we're gonna do here is just grab this code, just copy it, and we're gonna move it over to edit.blade.php and paste it in the exact same space up here. And if you have any questions about this, I just recommend going to the previous video. Again, it's linked in the description, the previous video, and you can figure out, I'll, I actually talk about how it all works. But for this video, I'm assuming you've seen that, and we're just gonna paste it in here and save it. And now if I go over to our posts page, and I actually edit a blog post, you can see that I now have the WYSIWYG editor here and it's formatting it you know, correctly, okay? And so now if I make a change such as this and I unbold that and save it, you can see that now, um, let's see, right here, this word's no longer bolded, so it's saving correctly. If I come back over here, you can see it's still there, all right? Um, I can bold something else. So anyway, that's, I just wanted to get that up and running before we continued on because I forgot to add that in the last video. Okay, so now we're, we've got the editor up and running, but now everything's getting saved in the database with HTML tags, okay? And that's what you see here. We're actually displaying the HTML tags to the user. Okay, so now everything's getting saved in the database with HTML tags. That's basically how we, you know, um, that's how we keep the formatting across, you know, in, throughout the database and then across pages and stuff like that, is we just use plain HTML. So when you bold something, we just add strong tags around it, just like normal HTML. But now when we actually pull it out of the database and put it onto the screen, we actually want to allow the HTML to render to the user. Now this is normally a safety concern because you know, sometimes people could put malicious code in your database. So normally we don't allow what comes out of the database to execute on screen because it could cause security problems, all right? So in this video, we the only way to allow it to, to keep the formatting is to allow it to render the HTML, okay? So we're going to allow it to render it and just keep in mind that this does pose a few security risks. And we're going to talk about in part 45, the next video, we're gonna talk about how to um, get around those security risks so that we can have a safe application. I just wanna mention that because if you jumped onto this video from like YouTube search or something and you're not following it along, you may end up leaving this video and skipping past 
the security video. So I wanna make sure that if you found this video, that you also watch the security video, part 45, where we talk about how to keep your application secure. Because if you just do what I'm doing right now without doing what we do in part 45, you're gonna have a very in unsecure application, all right? Okay, with that disclaimer being made, let's go ahead and actually format it to the users, okay? So that they don't see these tags. So if we go over to our application here, and we go to that page, which is uh, post.show. It's this page right here. You can see that when we grab our post body, we grab it straight out of the database, and we use these double curly braces right here. For those of you guys that remember, double curly braces use a function in, HTML, in PHP called HTML special cars. What this does, it takes all the characters that make up you know, HTML tags, and it basically converts them into unexecutable characters. Okay, so instead of being able to execute and do their job, they're actually turned into like text and where they don't really do anything. So what we want to do is that's normally a good thing, but in this video, we don't want those to happen. So we're going to use curly bang bang. Oops. We're going to use curly bang bang and curly bang bang basically says we're, I, this is safe. Do it, execute it just as it comes out of the database. That's what we're saying. So we're saying don't try to touch or mess with this at all. Okay, so only do this when you absolutely know that the data, the information in the database is 100% safe, okay? That's the security disclaimer. You have to make sure it's 100% safe. And we don't currently know that, but in the next video, we're gonna make sure we know that. Um, but we're, for right now, we're gonna assume that it's safe. But if you're deploying it to a website, you wanna make sure it's 100% safe before you do curly bang bang. Uh, the, these, this right here is curly bang bang. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And let's now refresh on the screen. And you can see that by making that one simple change, it now is working on our screen. So we're getting um, our heading and we're getting all the formatting as we wanted, okay? So let's do the same thing now. If we go over to our homepage on the front end um, and we do this, this blog post here, this is the blog.single page, if you remember that. Let's go ahead and do the same thing over here so it doesn't show these tags. And we go over here. Let's go to um, blog.single. And we're gonna do curly bang bang right there on this post body. And now let's go ahead and save that, go over here and refresh. And you same thing, it's working good, all right? So we're all set, that's all it takes to render this onto the screen. So don't, make sure I wouldn't go through, unless you absolutely need to execute the code, you still wanna keep using the double curly braces. Only use this when you absolutely need to use it and only when you know the, date, the information in the database is secure. Okay, again, part 45 is all about security. I can't emphasize enough that you need to watch that video, okay? So please watch that video. All right, next coming up is, um, let's talk about now, it, there are gonna be some cases when you don't want to, the HTML characters at all. So we have HTML characters in our database, but what if you kind of wish you didn't have them? In this case here, we actually, um, we just wanna show the text. We don't need any of the HTML characters. We don't wanna format it into lists or anything. We just want the text here to give a preview of the of the article. So in this case, how do we get rid of all these stupid HTML characters? Do we have to have another column in our database? Of course not. I'll show you an easy way, super easy way. All right, so what we need to do is go over to that, let's go over to the HTML for that, or the blade uh, view for that page, which was under um, pages and welcome.blade.php. And under this page, this is the home page that we're looking, Now this is the home page that we were looking at right here. So we want to get rid of all these tags. And what we need to do here is you can see that we're grabbing the post body straight out of the database here over here. And um, we're grabbing the first 300 characters of it, okay? So what we want to do is we just want the plain text. And to get the plain text, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a function called strip tags. Now when you run strip tags on you know, something from your database, it's gonna strip all the HTML tags out of it and just give you the plain text. That one little function does everything that you need right there, okay? So this is gonna give you the plain text so that that gets rendered on the screen. But we also need to add it in another place here because over here under, you can see that we're running string length on post body again. And this is because um, what we're doing is we're checking to see if, um, we're seeing if there are more than 300 characters in the um, in the blog post because if there's less than 300 characters, then we don't want to concatenate it um, because we'll run into a pro well we can't have the ellipses basically. So um, we only add the the dot 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 if there are more than 300 characters. 
So anyway, that's why we run that here. The problem is when you run string length on the, the body of the post, it actually counts all of the like less than, greater than signs, the slash, all those characters that make up the HTML tags, it counts those as part of our blog post. So we wanna strip all those out as well, and we just want to count the actual um, characters of the blog post. So that's why we need to run, um, when we run string length, we also wanna strip the tags from the, the post body here, just so that it's counting correctly, okay? So we're gonna do that and just change it and we're gonna add strip tags here and strip tags here. I'm gonna save that and refresh. And now you can see that it's been refreshed here and it just kind of pulls out all the functions, pulls out all the formatting I mean, and pulls out the HTML tags and now it's nice and clean. Okay, so we have two other places we need to do that on. We need to do that over here on the blog. Um, you can see that we've got, it still shows it here. And then we also need to do it on our posts page in our table. Okay, so let's do that same thing real quick. We're gonna go to, let's see, the, the blog homepage is over here, blog.index. And you can see once again, we're grabbing the post body. So let's do it strip tags to get the plain text. And then we're going to um, do the same thing here. We're gonna strip tags like that. Okay, perfect. And um, the last place we wanna do it is on our, home, our edit page. So let's go to edit.blade.php, or no, sorry, the index page, I mean, post.index. So this is on where we see all the posts on the back end. And then same thing down here, you can see we're grabbing the post body from here. So once again, we're gonna strip the tags. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Strip tags. And then over here, we're gonna do it again, strip tags, okay? Pretty easy. Um, once you guys get the hang of it, those two little functions are able to carry us through this uh, this video. So with that, we should be all set. You can see now if we refresh, we don't have any of the nasty HTML tags in here, but we do have it when we render um, over here. So it says welcome and we get the, the formatting the way we want, okay? So I hope that was interesting for you guys to kind of see how that works. Once again, make sure you do watch the next video which is all about security. And in the security video, we'll talk about how you can make sure that what's in the database is safe. Because if you don't know that it's safe, you can't do what we just did, all right? Um, so you need to make sure what's getting put in the database is safe. And I'm gonna talk to you about how to do that in the next video. So make sure to watch that one. Okay, in more news about this kind of this series, I just wanted to let you guys know that Laravel 5.3 is the next version of Laravel. We're currently using 5.2. And Laravel 5.3 is coming out next week. So those of you guys watching this video right after it comes out here in July of 2016, it's coming out next week, um, the third week of July, I believe it is, basically. Um, and so I'm actually gonna be waiting and doing, um, we're gonna be waiting for Laravel 5.3 to come out before we do the next video section, which is about image upload. And the reason for that is that in Laravel 5.3, they added some new functions for image upload to make it way easier. And so because they changed that, I've decided that I'm gonna wait until that comes out, which is only next week. So it's only, we're only waiting a week, I promise. Um, so we're gonna wait about a week and then we're gonna talk about the Laravel 5.3 way of uploading images instead of doing it the 5.2 way, all right? So instead of doing it the outdated way, we're just gonna wait one more week for 5.3 to come out and then we're gonna do it the 5.3 way, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. So in the meantime, there, I might post a few other videos. We're gonna, the getting started with Git series, I've got a few more videos to post for that. And then we're gonna be doing a series about Laravel 5.3 and the new features that came with that. And so you might see some of those videos coming up and just know we're still doing this series. I'm just gonna wait about a week before we do the image upload uh, for this series, okay? But otherwise we're coming to an end on it. We've got the image upload left and then we've also got our, um, uh, the deployment and then we're done. So we'll be working on the more advanced Laravel series after that. Okay, so I hope you guys are really enjoying, um, enjoyed this video. And um, if you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments section, or you can reach out to me on Twitter. My username is underscore J.A. Curtis. Um, I'd love to hear you on there as well. Okay. All right, well, that's all I've got for you guys today. I will see you.